Hi, I'm Clarissa. I'm Christian. And I'm Max. And this is our virtual tour. Let's go take a look inside. This is the Great Hall. We are in here for breakfast, lunch and dinner, as well as events such as house song and jazz night. We really like Fish and Chip Friday. Mount Garrett is our music school. It used to be a house, but became a music school in the early 90s. We have an amazing choir and there's lots of musical opportunities here. We have lunchtime concerts, Bert's Big Band and we're all encouraged to have a go. This is a typical classroom. In Year 9 there tends to be 18 people per class. And about the same in Year 8. There are four lessons of maths and English every week in Year 7 and 8, as well as everything from Latin to food and nutrition. In Year 9, that you can choose options so you can specialise in certain subjects. This is one of eight science labs and classrooms. My favourite subject is chemistry. Mine's physics. I like the practicals. These are some of our old worksopians. They are known as OWs. Joe Root is the current England cricket captain. Helen Dolce was the first female fighter jet pilot. And Chad Burrow is the founder of the Samaritans. You can find more about our OWs on our website. This is the chapel. It was built in 1909, just 15 years after the school had opened. We usually have two chapel services in here a week, both of which last around half an hour. The whole school comes together and we get to hear the choir sing. The organ is one of the most impressive in the country. We have an amazing art school. In Year 7 and 8, we do art once a week. We get to do fine art, digital photography and graphic design. In Year 9, we get to choose which one we'd like to focus on. Then you can decide whether you want to take art for GCSE. This is some students' work. It looks pretty impressive. Here we are at DT. We have some amazing facilities. All the work you see here has been designed and made by students. During lockdown, we started making PPE for the NHS. We put a call out to OWs so we could buy more 3D printers. We now have 18. This is the multimedia workroom. There is loads of equipment and we are encouraged to be very creative. We're really lucky with the amount of space we have here. We're on 330 acres and even have our own golf course. We have two astro pitches, as well as 10 multi-sports fields, an athletics track, swimming pool, climbing wall, sports hall and fitness suite. Our sports hall has basketball hoops, volleyball, tennis, netball and indoor hockey and that's just to name a few. Let's take a look upstairs. This gym is brand new. A big thanks to all the OWs and parents who donated funds and equipment to help this gym get built. We have strength and conditioning sessions as a part of PE. As well as that, sports scholars have individual programmes to help them become a better athlete. Right, let's have a look around Portland, shall we? This is Portland House. It's for Year 7 and 8, and it's where we register in the morning and hang out at break times. There is one music room and three common rooms. The common rooms have kitchens, with hot and cold drinks available. Plus, toast and fruit are available all day as well. House parents, Mr and Mrs Pym, make sure we don't have too many biscuits. We have a few full boarders and lots of flexi boarders. A flexi boarder is a person who boards around two nights a week. We host a lot of theme nights and the most popular is probably the barbecue night. When you go from year eight into year nine, you move into a senior house. There are three girls' houses and four boys' houses. I'm in Talbot. Let's go take a look. This is the Talbot common room. It's a really great space. You can come and meet your friends at break times and lunch times and boarders can spend their time here in the evenings. Let's go take a look at a bedroom. This is a typical bedroom. This is where both day pupils and boarders can come and get their homework done during the day or in the evening. Even the day pupils have a wardrobe and a desk. Let's go meet up with Christian and Clarissa. Thanks for joining us on our virtual tour. If you haven't booked a family visit yet, make sure you do. See you soon. Bye.